everybody today I'm showing you my cat scratching pose bed cover bed kitty cat hideaway that I'm making and I think it's gonna be adorable and we can look inside and we can see the base so let's get busy here's how it looks with just the carpeting segment a tap portion not quite attached, but just kind of seeing how it's going to fit. As you can see, we took, or I took the piece of the contractor's foam. And these are really inexpensive at Home Depot or Lowe's or your typical hardware store. And I cut out the circles, um, the entranceways for the cats. And then I cut some really durable uh, plywood into circles so they'll fit in on the inside. And if you look at the bottom, I basically took one of those small um, round circles they have at the office, uh, at the uh, hardware store. And I've used some liquid nails to attach it there. And I use some braces, and I'm still going to do some more attaching to make it really stronger. This way, each of the kittens, well, they're getting to be really big cats now, will have their own sleeping quarters. And these will go in on the inside, and I'll show you how I secured that on the inside. Okay, now as you can see, I've made a cylinder that's going to go on the inside that has like two shelves. And that I'm just going to stick down on the inside of... The tube. As you can see, I've got the so the the little shelves that are going to go on the inside for the cats to have like a little resting area to sleep on or just look out onto the world. I'm going to slide that down into the tube. We have two inner shelves, so we're just going to slide that right down into the tube. Sliding this right down into the tube. It's got to go a little further though. Okay, it might be kind of hard to show you, but as you can see, we just slid it right down there into the uh, tube. And as you can see, it fits somewhat perfectly. I got the cat tree partially done. Just a few more things to do. There's so much fun in making it yourself. Thanks for watching.